I'm Susan Oppenheimen and I'm here to talk about Dahlia Album. Dahlia came to us in sixth grade from Detroit. One of the first things that she noticed that winter in sixth grade was whenever we had the snow or the mere mention of the word snow, how things just fell apart around here and all I would hear about was we never had days off unless it really snowed. We always went to school. Daya had the um, neat thing about being number one in my attendance book first period for three years. So I got to know Daya really well and I have seen her grow into a lovely young woman. And as she came back from Pesach, she complained to me about something. So here's my wish for you, Daya. May your hair stay blonde and your tan not fade. And have a wonderful summer and a great year in high school. Hello, my name is Rabbi Weissman and I'm here to speak about Jacob Book. Jacob is somebody who over the years has grown so much. I constantly see that through his davening and through his learning that he's trying to figure out where his place is in this world and how he can connect to Hashem, Haslachan High School. Hi, this is Mr. Gray. I want to tell Miriam that her Science Expo project was awesome, and I hope that she continues to work hard on future projects and show her enthusiasm and passion for science. Hey, take care, Miriam, and have a great year. Pleasure to have um, Zahava in our class. One thing that stands out about um, Zahava is the pleasant imut, the pleasant way with which she conducts herself um, in our class. She comes every day with a smile and makes the most of her time and it's just the way that she interacts with all her peers and her teachers alike is just in such a pleasant, um, dignified and respectable way. We wish her uh, much haslacha next year, much success in the high school and we're sure she'll do great. Need I say more Donnie Deitch than Taylor Swift? And pray tell, where did she fit into our curriculum in sixth grade? Only Donnie knows. But somehow your joie de vivre lightened the mood and made us all free to express ourselves with the utmost of ease. Yes, you always completed your work and you had a real knack for taking tests without much effort on your part. But you also always made us laugh. You still do when you repeatedly ask if I'm your sub, even if I'm simply meandering down the halls. Your wonderful sense of humor helped me survive a difficult year. And with your mom's help and your wit, I was able to overcome my mother's illness and slow recovery. I will always appreciate that. And Taylor Swift, of course. Bahatzlacha next year. I have had the pleasure of teaching Ava in both sixth and eighth grade. Ava is a smart student who is always looking for ways to grow and become the very best person she can be. Her desire to find the truth and understand life is constantly driving her to ask and seek out answers. As well, you can always see Ava laughing and enjoying time with her friends. Ava, you've inspired both me and the people around you. Continue to have the balance in life of laughing and loving life and also continuing to work on yourself, learning, and enhancing your relationship with Hashem. We will only miss you next year when you go to Eretz Yisrael and are inspired by you from it. Please keep in touch. Hi, I'm here to talk about Mayor Dermer. Mayor is one of those people who's one in a million. He's mature and his thinking is far reaching. Sometimes I wonder what Mayor's thinking because he always looks deep in thought and concerned about what's going on around him and in the world even more so. We'll miss Mayor next year. He's one of those middle school adults that we really love having. Hatzlacha. I want to congratulate Jake Freeman on his graduation. Jake has been a student of mine for the last two years. And he's a wonderful, wonderful human being. A person who possesses a strong work ethic, who works hard day in and day out, who asks tough questions, who works hard to try and find answers, who's passionate about his learning, about his growth, and who has wonderful Mido Tovo, who gives a kind smile day in and day out, and who's a pleasure to be around. Jake, you'll be sorely missed and wish you the best of luck. Hi, Mrs. 
Lazarus and I'm here to tell you why Shulamit is a wonderful student at our school. Shulamit is a hardworking student, but she also has a midah of kavod lazulat, respect to others. She respects her teachers and her peers. For example, when she writes me emails, it is always addressed with respect and regards. The midah of kavod lazulat is important for being successful in life because it is a key to having positive communications and relationships. Shulamit, I wish you Hatzlacha in the upper school. I know you will do great. Mazel tov, Kobe, on your graduating eighth grade. But now, who's going to roll the Sefer Torah to the proper place before Rosh Chodesh when we come back to school on Mondays or on Thursdays? Who's going to arrange davening? Who's going to make sure the chazan has the right place? Who's going to make sure that the whole middle school runs properly? Kobe, you have such energy, you have such passion, you have such fire, and we are sure that when you get up to high school, boy, they better watch out. Mazel tov, Kobe, and please come to visit. When I came into Tosh for this year, I was so excited to see that Jasmine was back in the academy with us. Jasmine always has something intuitive to share with the class during discussions. Her deep thoughts and ideas add so much to our class. Jasmine is also super creative. I always enjoy seeing her projects and portfolios and what creative ideas she has. Jasmine, you have the ability to take situations and enhance your life through them. Your creativity and desire to learn will take you far. Jasmine, you have so much to offer to the high school next year. I wish you much Hatzlacha. Rosie is a quiet student. She wants to work and succeed. She's respectful to her peers in class, and she knows how to work with them. I wish Rosie lots of Hatzlacha and success in all her endeavors. Yonina is a wonderful artist and a creative, out-of-the-box thinker. It may take a minute or two to see where Yonina is going with her idea, but it's always to an interesting place. Yonina is kind and helpful to all. Best of luck, luck in upper school. So I'm here to talk about Gabby Roshan. I've never seen anyone with so much persistence and what I call stick to it -ness. She'll ask questions and come to math lab and keep trying and she'll try extra practice problems until she understands the topic. She does all of this without complaining and with a cheerful attitude. She maintains a great sense of humor and I know she's going to do beautifully in high school because of her dedication and wonderful study habits. I also love hearing her sing songs for musicals. She may not know that I'm listening but I definitely am and this is an interest that we both share. We've had a great year and I look forward to hearing how great things are going in high school. Jacob is a very st a serious student. Um, he knows how to work. He has good foundations. He's a serious thinker, and he's a quick learner. Um, and he's a pleasure to have in class. That's the I have the privilege to speak about Saji Levin. Saji and I first got to know each other during the sixth grade play, and it quickly became clear what a talented actor he is. Not only does Sadja shine on the stage with acting, but he's also an incredible singer. Sadja, you are humble and not one to seek out attention, but you have been given many gifts. Along with your academic skills, you are a star in your acting and musical talents. I hope that you continue building on these strengths in your new school. We wish you the best of luck and know that we will miss you very much next year. Behind me in this room on the United Nations Environmental Program is Talia Lebson. Talia Lebson has thrived in La Uen because Talia is thoughtful, Talia is empathic, and Talia is deliberate in her speech not only of what she says, but of how she expresses herself. She's open-minded, yet she's possessed of great personal integrity. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to have taught her in sixth grade, and then to have acted as her faculty advisor for our Model UN Club in seventh and eighth grade. Talia, we're going to hear great things about you. Congratulations on graduating eighth grade. Hi, this is Mr. Gray. Just want to wish Avi an awesome year because he is one of the great thinkers in our class and he really helped other students kind of learn things that were difficult for them. So I want to say Avi have a great year and looking forward to seeing you as you continue to grow as a learner. 
I was not surprised that Dahlia was chosen to be one of the older students to come along on our sixth grade Shabbat Tov. She's an excellent role model of somebody who's able to balance an exuberant and fun-loving personality with a serious desire to learn and grow as a person. She's alive during class and always eager to find the meaning and relevancy in everything we're learning. I'm going to miss having her in class next year. I want to wish Yechmiel a big mazel tov in your graduation, and I also want to say a big thank you. Thank you not only for all the dedication you gave to our dominant group last year, coming in and setting up and being a dedicated shamish, but I also want to say thank you for bringing the courage and commitment that you have it day in and day out. When you stay true to what you believe in, what your family believes in, even though it might not be what everybody else is doing. And I want to say thank you for bringing that courage and commitment to the whole middle school. And I hope that you continue with that Mida and that we can all learn from you. Thank you and wishing you much Hatzlacha. Nessa is going to be missed in the middle school next year. I had the pleasure of teaching Nessa for three years in two different subjects. In that time, Nessa matured into a dedicated student who worked hard, but never forgot to have fun along the way. Even more important than her academic achievements, it's critical to mention that Nessa is one of the most welcoming and friendly students that I've met. My own parents recently moved to Washington from Chicago, and they were personally welcomed by Nessa and her family. I know that your presence will be missed in the middle school, and I wish you the best of luck next year. Hi, I'm Rabbi Shlomo Buxbaum, and I had the privilege of teaching Ari Siegel this year. Hi, Rabbi Buxbaum! Ari is just so full of energy. Ari, every single day you come in about five minutes late with your bagel and you're just coming ready to learn and so focused and so excited. Ari, you have so much energy and I hope that you'll take that energy and just keep on growing and keep on doing amazing things. You're a budding Tamukhacham. Keep it going and Mazel Tov on your graduation. My first memories of you and your luminescent blue-green eyes date back to preschool when you were Shabbat Abba in Mara Bell's class. And then I was fortunate to teach you again in seventh grade. Oh, my liver would be your excuse for everything. And it became the class's refrain and tribute to your ability to laugh at difficult circumstances. It was your TED Talk that allowed all of us to share our own thoughts about perseverance. And it was your ability to face the obstacles in life that taught us the most important life lesson, grit. You have grit. It's an inner strength that you lent all of us that year in seventh grade. And I wish you great success, health, and happiness. And come back and visit me so you can always make me laugh. It was such a delight to teach Dina Kotek in both sixth and seventh grade world studies. I especially remember her leadership and creativity for her Renaissance project about drama in the Renaissance. It was exciting to watch her grow as a student, and she always brings a smile on my face when I see her in the hall this year. Good luck next year. Watching you light up when you earned your way onto our honor roll was such a joy for me. Shy Margulies, you're not only someone who takes your davening seriously and your basketball seriously. Shy, you take being a mensch so seriously. You have a warmth about you that makes you such a great friend, and you continue to strive to grow in your academics, in your behavior, in your tefila. We know you're gonna go on to great things. Mazal Tov Shai. This is the man, Nussie Shields, an ideal combination of Gamara, sports, his friends, Midos Tovos beyond belief, devotion to his family, love of Chromebooks, English, Shnaya Mikra, doing mitzvos, Kichidona Tanach, and a love for mathematics, and again, mitzvos. That really is Nasi Shields. That's the Nasi that I've come to know over the last three years of teaching him Chumash, having him this year for Navi. It's been a spectacular career in uh, middle school, and Nasi, as I wrote to you recently, I'm really jealous of the Rebbe who gets to have you and his shear in the future. All the best, stay in touch. Great job, Nuss. Gabby Rifkin, firstly, 15 to 20 seconds cannot possibly contain all the things that I want to tell you about Gabby. So in summary, she's smart, she's confident, 
She's loud and proud. Gabby is a force to be reckoned with. Every day for the past three years, I could count on hearing my name yelled down the hallway in greeting whenever we passed each other. Gabby, you always know how to make me and your friends smile, and I'll miss you. Kola Kavod Middle School, you survived the Gabby Rifkin experience.